For lesson 5.2, we're going to look at adding integers. Now, we learned before that integers are basically just numbers. Some of them are regular numbers. Some of them have a negative value, and that is any number that's going to have this negative sign in front of it. But before we start adding integers, I want to look at something that's called an absolute value. And the way we find an absolute value is simply picking a number on the line and counting back how many places it takes us to get to zero. The number of places it takes us to get back to zero is the absolute value for that number. So let's say we start off and we're given the number negative four. Well, I want to count how many spaces it takes me to get to zero. So moving from four, one, two, three, four. So now I know that the absolute value of negative four is four because it took me four spaces to get to zero. Now we can start looking at adding integers. So let's say we're given a negative two and I want to add it to negative four. Well, this is where my number line is going to come in handy. Now I know right off the bat, I'm going to give you guys this hint, that whenever I add negative integers, my answer is also going to be negative. So starting at negative two, and I'm going to use my number line and move over four more places. So let's see where it takes us. One, two, three, four. So negative two plus negative four equals negative six, because that's where I landed when I counted over from negative two to negative four. Now let's look at something a little different. We are going to add a negative integer and a positive integer. So it's negative seven plus four. So I'm gonna start at my negative seven and since I'm adding a positive integer, I'm gonna move down the positive side of the number line. I'm gonna move four places. One, two, three, and four. This is where I landed four places away, so I know my answer has to be a negative three. Now last but not least, something that is very easy, something that most of you won't even need the number line for, what happens if I add two positive integers? Let's say we have two plus three. I'm gonna start here at two, and I'm gonna end up moving over three places. Let's see where it takes me. One, two, three, and as you already knew, two plus three equals five.